Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I achieve my really natural look for work. I'm quite lazy when it comes to getting ready in the morning, so I'll show you my perfect look. To start, I'm going to take my CoverGirl Outlast foundation. This I think I picked up from the drugstore, like Chemist Warehouse, Kmart, Coles, something like that. It was pretty cheap, so I definitely recommend. I'm just going to pump a couple of pumps onto this on my hand and just throw it on my face. It's not working. I guess you get what you pay for sometimes. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not sure if I recommend this now. Oh, we've got this. When you're desperate in the morning, you've got no time, just do what you can do. So this will be perfect for me in a rush. I throw my hair up every morning. I don't have time to straighten it. High ponytail and off I go. Literally, I'd rather eat food and have a solid breakfast than put effort into my hair, which takes forever. In the morning, I literally have no time to go into my bathroom and wet a beauty blender. So I'm just going to take a brush that I've just got sitting there. It's a Morphe brush and buff this in straight away. I like to brush my foundation over my eyes just because I won't be concealing them. So to have kind of like matched my fake tan, I'll just brush over so they're not like white lids. As you can see, this foundation doesn't cover up all of my imperfections, but when I'm rushing in the morning for work, I literally don't care. I just want a nice base just to kind of look naturally more glammed up than you would, like kind of thing. I don't have time to conceal and all that sort of stuff in the morning, so I just jump straight in with my powder. Today, I'll be using the Superstay 24-hour Longwear Matte Maybelline New York powder that I picked up last week. I'm still using it like it's all right. It was like $9.30 on sale. I wouldn't really recommend it but if you've got literally nothing else to use and just use it. I'm gonna literally just dunk my MAC brush in and dunk it all over my face. The only reason why I like to do powder is just so everything can set in place for the rest of the day so I don't have like if I touch my face pout like the foundation won't transfer. Now time for my eyeshadow. I can't really call this an eyeshadow because I'm only using the Benefit Hula Bronzer for like three different things. An eyeshadow, a contour and a bronzer just because I'm lazy and I don't have time in the morning. Taking my favourite MAC 224 brush, dunking it into my Hula Bronzer and just applying it to the crease of my lid to begin with. This will just add some depth to the eye. Now that that's done, I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush. This is my e.l.f. C eyeshadow brush that I picked up for like 2 or $3 online a while ago. Can't remember, but it's just great for packing on shadow. Taking the Hula Benefit bronzer and just packing it on the lid. The exact same colour. Now that that's all over my lid, I'm going to take my MAC kind of pencil brush and I'm going to dunk my Hula in once more and just define under my lower lash line. So like because it's kind of all plain brown, I want to give some more definition under my eye and this will be perfect. And to add further depth to the outer corner of my lower lash line, I'm just going to take a black shade and run it down below. I really love putting the black under my lower lash line because I feel like it's kind of like almost wearing an eyeliner and because I've got brown eyes, it kind of like, no, I think it goes well with them. So yeah, instead of shutting off my eyes with the black eyeliner, I'm just using some black eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line. If you guys have been watching me for a while now, you'll know that I love to wear false lashes, especially huge dramatic ones, but I never wear them when I go to work. I just don't have time to stick them on and they're too dramatic for where I work, so I just can't afford to wear them. So instead, I'm just going to layer up as much mascara as I can on my top and bottom lashes. Now using this freaking amazing mascara I picked up from like Coles or something. I think Chemist Warehouse came up, blah, 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 so it, sell it as well. It's a great lash by Maybelline New York. Such a good mascara for lower lashes. I'll show you the brush, tiny as shit. So like you can really get into those lashes. So I've just come back with my bottom mascara and unfortunately while I did my contour and my bronzer, my camera died. So I'll just quickly go over those steps once more. I dipped my contour brush into my Hula bronzer. As I said, this Hula bronzer is a three in one product today. I'm using it for my eyeshadow, my contour and my bronzer. So this is a life saving when it comes to saving time. Just dipping that in, carving out my cheekbones. I like to do this step just to kind of add some warmth back into my face rather than just having one sort of orange flat colour. Kind of makes it look like I've been out in the sun. 
And then grabbing my MAC 130 brush, I love to use this for my bronzer, dunking it in and just swirling it over my cheeks very quickly. Time for my final step, I'm going to do my lips. Today I'll be taking my Moisture Renew Lipstick in 720 Notting Hill Nude. This is a Rimmel lipstick that I picked up from Chemist Warehouse. I also love the Colour Sensational Maybelline lipsticks as well. Although the only thing with these types of drugstore lipsticks is that they don't last very long. So if you're going to have like a 6 hour to 12 hour day at work, you definitely want to make sure you pack this in your bag and then you'll be set for the whole day. This colour is extremely similar to Velvet Teddy by MAC, so if you don't have that or you've been wanting to get your hands on it for a while, I definitely recommend to pick this one up. This one's just a little bit more creamier. It might not last as long, but it's still like basically the same colour. And I saw that Brittany Lee Saunders on YouTube uses this colour as well, and I was like, oh my god, I've got this. I was like, so happy. This is my completed look. I really hope you like it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!